what else makes it different than just running up the floor, taking good shots and trying to create an advantage early? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. I'm going to give the one sentence log line for each of the 10 layers and layers are principles of offensive play. Um, so what I do with coaches is I give them the system, but the system is a canvas for your own art form. It is not a formula for a repeatable uh, potion. Like everyone's offense and everyone's defense should be really, really uh, tuned into your identity. What do you value more? And so we, we go through each of these layers with, with our programs and our coaches establish um, what they want to prioritize as they go through each of these layers. So real quick log lines, this is what differenti differentiates it. It's 10 layers, 10 lenses, 10, 10 principles of offensive play that each coach needs to answer some key questions on. And coaches listening, most of the coaches that I work with have never answered these 10 questions. Um, and just answering the questions will lead to high clarity and high clarity leads to high performance. Um, so layer one, race the arcs. So um, we establish how fast do we want to play um, and how are we going to get there? And we go through it. Uh, layer two, space and hunt. How can we create more horizontal, more width? space in the half court so that we can hunt the world more effectively with the drive, with the pass. Third layer, shots and reads. Very clear shot selection, scale and naming, and then very clear role identification. What reads can players make? We have five reads in the system. And you got each of your players needs to know which read can I make? Am I a one read player, a two read player, a three read player, onto a five read player? Um, most coaches only have two, three read players on their team. They can do three things when they catch the basketball. Um, most coaches have one read players, but one read players don't know that they're one read players. You don't teach them. So, you, so shots and reads. What shots can you take? What reads can you make? Every player has clarity. Not everyone gets to do everything. That leads to turnovers. Uh, the fourth one, advantage game. What are our rules for our advantage game? And how do we know when we're in advantage game, when the defense is one second away from us or more on the catch, and how can we keep the advantage? Uh, when do we shift from layer four advantage game to layer five, which is our action game? When we have an advantage, the ball keeps moving. We keep the wheel turning. When we don't have an advantage, we stop and we run our primary action from our action menu. What are your primary actions? Who gets to run actions? Where, what actions do you want each player to run? How can they become specialists? Um, that's our layer five action menu. Layer six, zone actions. Um, we want a little bit of a different tweak. Um, out of, you know, we don't want a different offense, okay? Like this is your offense, but we want some different actions against zones. Um, what are your primary zone actions? They're probably a little different and they're probably for different players. Um, or your players might be in different spots on it. Layer seven, the shooting system. Uh, the quickest way to score more points is to make more shots. Uh, and so do you have a system that determines how people earn the right to take different shots and develop as shooters? Layer eight, the foul game. Um, are you winning the foul game? Winning the foul game leads to winning the real game. Do you have a plan in practice to draw more fouls um, and get to the line more? Uh, layer nine, our out-of-bounds package. Um, and just the goal of all of this is to simplify things. Um, most coaches have their out of bounds package much higher than ninth. And I would say that is incorrect and an, uh, improper priorities. And then layer 10 would be our special situations, uh, like a press break, like an end game situation, et cetera, et cetera. So answering those 10 questions is the system. Um, and you'll notice that speed was only in the first one. Mm -hmm. Um, but everything is built on, on that, um, and making quick decisions.